Utilizing the orbitals that arise out of hybridization theory can also help us realize why geometric isomers are isolable. Geometric isomers have the same gross connectivity but differ only in how the groups are oriented in space due to the hindered rotation about the doubly bonded carbons, which fall under the broad category of stereoisomers. When we draw an imaginary line along the axis of the double bond and then compare groups on each carbon atom using the kahn ingold prelog priority rules, we can deduce which geometric isomer is present. The kahn ingold prelog priority rules are a simple set of rules to determine priority of groups attached to a double bond or a stereogenic atom based on atomic number. If the groups of priority are on the same side of a double bond, we call this the cis isomer, often abbreviated Z. Alternatively, the groups of priority can be on opposite sides of the imaginary line called the trans isomer, often abbreviated E. For interconversion of the isomers to occur, we need to have free rotation about the CC double bond. If this were to happen, it would mean that the pi bond would have to break, which requires approximately 70 kcals per mole. This will cause each carbon to lose full valency due to the two p orbitals no longer overlapping. In other words, both carbon atoms will have only seven electrons instead of the desired octet, which will make the alkene unstable or higher in relative energy. Thus, at room temperature, geometric isomers are isolable.